Hello, my name is Barbara Hinning, and I'm the Education Associate with the American Printing House for the Blinds Museum here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today, I am here to demonstrate the Opticon. The Opticon is a machine that enables a blind person to read from the printed page and it actually takes the letters on a page or wherever there is print and transmits them via this camera to this what we call a tactile array where uh, the person who is using it puts a finger into the slot and runs the camera along a printed line of text and they track that. So there is a, on the camera you have a thing that makes your letters larger or smaller, so that is your magnification or your zoom, if you will. There is also a, a knob that adjusts how thick or thin the letters are. And then on the, the very top, there's a, a knob that's just in front of this one, so they're kind of inside each other. The large knob houses this smaller knob. As you feel, the two knobs are stacked on top of each other. So this one is the intensity. Um, for those of us who have been playing an instrument or whatever, the intensity of the letters, well, you'd have to turn the, this thing all the way up. <laughs> I do. So that makes the letters either sharper or duller. You see it as a nice square machine. It looks like the size of a tape recorder. I've got my hand on the camera and I'm going to turn it on and actually read print. And so this book I am reading from is called A Sense of the World. I'm going to go up and track. You have to track. Okay. The Blind Man paused to feel the end of his walking stick. So this basically will read pretty much any kind of print, but as one is reading with the machine, they will find that some of the letters that are larger need to be made smaller, or as small as they can be, or if they're very small print, you need to make the letters larger so that you can actually use all the space on your finger to actually tell what the shape of the letters are. My father used to always say, I want my child to read print. I want you to see. And he used to give me glasses all the time. And I remember when I brought the Opticon home back in 1977 in the summer, I said, this is as close as I'm going to get to being able to read print. It's with the Opticon. I thought it was just something that the principal was demonstrating because it was impressive, right? Um, but then when he was asking those of us who would be interested in learning how to use this, oh really? You're kidding, right? learning how to use this machine, this big machine, to read print. Well, I, it, it, it really did amaze me, and it still does today. I am able to look at, well, private things, like a piece of mail that I really don't want someone to see. If I don't need to scan the whole thing and I just need to know what it is so I know what to do with it, I like being able to simply turn on the Opticon and read what it is I need, um, especially if I'm waiting for something important to come. And that's kind of my business, and I don't want anybody else to know. I'll just look at it and say, oh my gosh, this is it, this is it. I also read a program um, at Holy Spirit that was printed up uh, by this fellow who just wanted me to have somebody read it to me, and I read it, and oh my, the print was like art. And that's what I said. I said oh my gosh, this print is like art, the way the letters were kind of crickly they, they, at the ends, you know, you have this little fancy work on it. And I said, oh my God, this shouldn't be 
words. This is, this is art. This is beautiful. Um, it's not just plain, it wasn't just plain print. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give this up. Um, I love my Braille and you know, that is my go-to choice if I want to read gobs of things, gobs of material. Um, but this is definitely what I would go to if I wanted to see something without waiting to have somebody read it to me. Yes, so I am, I'm proud to be a user of the Opticon.